Firstly, my condolences to uh, the family of Doc O'Connell, uh, C.S. Doc O'Connell, uh, from the Curra. Uh, sadly, he's the second uh, from the cadet school in recent times to lose his life or to die. Uh, so it, they're going through tough times down there. Last week, I spoke on the uh, helicopter that was forced to land in Derry uh, as a result of uh, an emergency declared by the pilot. Um, I got a reply from the minister's office, and that reply tells me that the area the helicopter flew into had already suffered um, uh, uh, turbulence, as a Boeing 737 had experienced uh, turbulence in that area two hours previously. Now, this brings me on to to the organization that operate those helicopters. I announced here a couple of weeks ago that that company had shown in their accounts for 2020 and 2021 that they were insolvent. Uh, they, they showed losses of six million over the two years. They paid no corporation tax or very little corporation tax over the two years. Um, then I look at the payments that are being made to the company, and the payments are averaging around about 6.1, 6.2 million per month. And I'm trying to figure out where is, where is all this money coming from, because the original contract was for 500 million over 10 years, which is about 4.2 million a month. I asked the department if the, if the company was, being, was charging for training exercises and charging for the uh, transportation of patients from the islands to the hospitals. I was told I couldn't have the information because it was commercially sensitive. I wasn't told that we don't pay for it. Now, I was told uh, in recent months that some in the organization refer to training exercises as search and revenue rather than search and rescue. If this is true, if training exercises are being, if pilots are being put under pressure to carry out training exercises, then we have a serious problem, so we do. Uh, and I repeat my call now that the Minister would come to this House and engage in a debate. We need to find out exactly what's going on in this company. There is a contract up for renewal right now, and I think it is vitally important that we know exactly First and foremost, what was contracted for, and secondly, how that contract has been managed to date. Six, six odd million a month is an awful lot of money. Uh, Senator Crockwell, um, you've asked for a debate around the issue of the, the uh, search and rescue. Uh, this, the Minister is actually happy to come into the, the Chamber to have a debate on that. We're just working out what day and time he is available, um, and hopefully for next week, but we'll let you know as soon as we have a date and a time locked in on that. So, um, yeah, we'll get that debate for you.